Hey everyone, welcome back to Cozy Pixels. My name is Crow, and today I will show you how to download and install The Sims 2 custom content. The first thing I want you to do is to open up your game and on the neighborhood screen click on the three dots, which is the options, go into game options and here you can see these two settings, one of them catalogs display custom content and one of them display custom content dialog at startup. Make sure to turn both of them on because this way you, will, you can make sure that your custom content will show up in the game. If you click on this you can see the custom content dialog and make sure that you click this one which says enable custom content and press ok after this one you can exit the game because now we are going on to step two which is downloading custom content itself i have a few favorite sites where i download my custom content from one of them which i consider the original uh, custom content site mod the sims my other favorite is Tumblr because you can find many 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 talented custom content makers. I have a Tumblr myself as well. In the description I linked the resource page to my Tumblr where I list all my favorite creators and this where I usually download custom content so make sure to check it out if you don't really know where to start on Tumblr. You don't have to have an account if you want to download something from Tumblr or view blogs. You can even ask anonymously without an account if you want um, from other creators. You can search uh, TS2CC uh, and in the tag you will see lots and lots and lots of custom content. As you can see there are specific tags for uh, different kinds of custom content. You can uh, search for objects, hairs, food deco, anything. And I just want to make, I just want to show you an example on how this goes. So basically, let's say we want to download this nice kitchen set from Starchy77. We come here and you can see that there is a download link and on tumblr you can find most of the time sims file share download links which is a hosting site specifically built for the sims cc so it's very safe there are no ads at all and there are no malware nothing so you just press download if you like the cc you can even thank the creator because it's a nice gesture, you don't need an account to do that. And as you can see, our CC just downloaded there. It's very easy and very quick, so you, there's no need to worry. But I want to say that if you see something like this in a link, please just leave that side. There are some creators who like to use AdFly links and I would highly recommend to avoid them. And please make sure that you don't allow anything in your browser that you are not sure that it's trustworthy or not. Please just don't do that. If you see an ad fly link, but it's better just to abandon that CC because it's absolutely not worth it to get your computer infected uh, with some malware or virus. So please just don't do that. Also, if you see a creator you like, most of them have a resources page just like I do. So make sure to check those because usually a lot of people do that they collect their favorite sites or where they get their custom content from. So when people ask about where they can find certain objects, they can just easily link them to the answer and there's that. Now, after we downloaded this piece of CC, I want to show how can you actually install them. First things first, let's go into your documents, EA Games, The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, or if you don't have the Ultimate Collection, just The Sims 2 folder will do that. Sorry, my windows in Hungarian, so it might look different for you. But here we go in the Sims folder. And as you can see right now, I don't have a downloads folder because I removed it for the tutorial. So there's two ways you can create a downloads folder. The easiest way is simply right click, go on new folder and make sure to call it downloads. Double check if you made any typos just in case and then create. You see, you already have a downloads folder. If you want to make really, really sure, you can just launch the Sims 2 Body Shop and it will create a downloads folder for you. After you have your downloads folder, go into the location you downloaded your CC and just extract it to the downloads folder. Okay, so as you can see, it extracted here, so now it should be in the game. This is the easiest way. This is how you install objects, hairs, skin tones, basically anything that goes into the game. But there are two exceptions. And now I want to show you how can you install all sims and lots into your game. So now I downloaded a lot and a sim, so I will show you how to install them. You can open up the WinRAR object and you can see that this one is a different extension than the other CC we installed. If your CC 
has the package dot package extension then you can just safely copy it into your downloads folder and it should show up in your game however sims and lots have different extensions and that is dot sims to pack if you see a pack like this you need to install them in a separate way there are actually two methods to do this and i want to show you both of them the first one is you can install them with an external software and i highly recommend you to do so it's called clean installer link in the description it's worth downloading because it makes your life and game much easier if you have clean installer extract this file to a location where you can find it and then search for it on the location this is the sim we just downloaded and as you can see i already set clean installer as the default application here but if you haven't right click on the file open with and choose clean installer from your computer from then all of the sims 2 packs will be open with clean installer and it will be an easy setup for all of you basically all you have to do is double click and here the clean installer will link everything that comes with the file and you can choose one by one if you want to install them or not this is very important with lots because lots often come with sim relations and if you have those without the actual sims in the game your game can get corrupted so in this case I want all of these because these are custom content you can see the type of it and the name and the file name as well so I just press install it chooses the destination immediately you press install again and then you are finished the same can be done with lots here you can see I opened up this lot and this is just the package lot there is no CC no sim relations nothing that can harm your game so basically just press install and it is finished if you don't want to download clean installer and you don't want to use an external program to install sims and lots into your game you can do that with the sims 2 package installer to do this you need to extract your cc go find it and in open with menu you have to look for the package installer which is in the ultimate collections case go into ultimate collection folder go into fun with pets sp9 and then has been you can see package installer is here and you just press open with and the installer will start you will see this window it shows a lot of information about the things you want to install you can see the name and description of the cc it comes with the sim you just press install and basically that's it in this case you can't choose which you want and which you don't want to install that's why i recommend using clean installer instead because it's much more easier and much more safe option after you've done all this let's see if the cc actually works in the game let's launch your sims game go into create a sim or build and buy mode depending on which type of cc you downloaded and let's see if they are actually there so i downloaded a mea sim so he should show up in the sim bin and he does this is the sim I downloaded. He has the hair, he has the skin, he has everything that was included with him, so that was successful. But what if your operation wasn't that successful, you ask? What if your CC doesn't show up in the game or flashes blue? Because that's an option as well. What to do then? Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you now. If your objects are flashing blue, that's because they don't have the mesh in them. What's the mesh, you might ask? Basically, every custom content is built up from two parts one is the mesh which is the actual 3d grid 3d object of the cc so for example if you download a totally new hair or a totally new clothing item you have to have a mesh for that so that's the 3d object the other part is the recolor and oftentimes when people recolor an object they don't include the mesh of the original because of the creator of that mesh won't allow re-uploading so make sure that every time you download something you check if the mesh is included or not what to do when the mesh is not included if you don't find the mesh for your object the first thing i would recommend look in the description of the item which is flashing blue usually creators put their handle in there so make sure to check them and if you find the creator just google the item set and the creator and most of the times it will show up also if you recently downloaded just go back to the post where you downloaded it usually creators link the mesh so there's a chance you missed it check the comments because that's another nice way to find the missing meshes that would be it. installing cc into the sims 2 in five steps i hope you found this video useful if you did please let me know i would love to hear your opinions also make sure to leave in the comment if you think that i missed anything which would be useful to add if you watched so far you might consider subscribing to the channel it would mean a lot to me i also have a switch account where i stream every wednesday so check it out if you want and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye